The death of Bai Yueguang made Qing Jiayan hate Lu Yao deeply. The two grew up together as childhood sweethearts, but in the end, they grew tired of each other. Until the divorce, seeing her standing brightly next to other men, Qing Jiayan surprisingly realized that he was jealous of the man next to her. Keywords of the novel After divorce, the wife ran away with her pregnant belly without a pop dot up window. After divorce, the wife ran away with her pregnant belly. Download the complete text. After divorce, the wife ran away with her pregnant belly. Read the latest chapter. Chapter 1. Discovering Pregnancy After Divorce. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Discovering Pregnancy After Divorce, If You Have a Child, Just Give It To Me. Lu Yao is pregnant and the child belongs to his ex-husband. This was the answer she received when she asked Qing Jiayan when she was in a dilemma after getting pregnant. At that time, his impatience still lingered in his mind, and his cynical tone seemed to be in a hurry to get out of trouble. But it was he who provoked her first. Lu Yao sat at the entrance of the hospital, clutching the report form in confusion, feeling that the child had come at a really bad time. She and Qing Jiayan agreed to divorce two months ago, and they never left home. They still played the role of loving couple in front of the Qing family. On the night of his divorce, Qing Jiayan drank too much and couldn't bear to hold her. It's ridiculous that it was their first sexual encounter in two years of marriage. Surprisingly, a dramatic hit. She was distracted and Qing Jiayan's phone was already ringing wildly. She trembled in her heart, imagining him as if he was charging towards her with open teeth and claws, forcing her to kill the child. Lu Yao blinked in a daze, his hand running over his head, and without hesitation, he blocked his number. After she realized it, she felt extremely regretful in her heart. With Qing Jiayan's temperament, he is probably going to explode with anger now. He is the arrogant and arrogant young master of the Qing family, and only she, who despises his long life, dares to blackmail him. The next second, a message popped up. That night was your wish, please don't rely on me. Lu Yao, are you still thinking about the identity of the young grandmother of the Qing family and deliberately plotting against me? It's hard to imagine that Qing Jiayan was frowning beautifully at this moment, and his phoenix eyes were filled with a fierce aura. He hates others calculating him the most. Especially her. After all, two years ago he had already touched her path once. Upon seeing these words, Lu Yao's face instantly turned pale. She tightly gripped her phone, her strength so strong that her knuckles turned white. I don't have it. She edited it but didn't send it out for a long time. What's the use of saying it? He wouldn't believe it anyway. Lu Yao took a deep breath, deleted this sentence, and re-edited it. Just kidding, I took some measures that night and won't get pregnant. After the news was sent, the rock sank into the sea. Qing Jiayan has always been lazy to talk to her. Apart from playing the role of a loving couple in front of the Qing family, they are like strangers. She knew he would change his girlfriend in a few days, but he trained those women very well and no one bothered her for two years. Until the newly graduated female college student appeared. He divorced her for the sake of that girl. I don't know if it was out of guilt or to smash her into silence with money, Qing Jiayan gave her a large sum of money, so big that even if she were to burn it all in cash, she could endure a winter. The price is that she signed her name on the divorce agreement and promised to publicly declare herself the wrong party when the time was right, which led to the breakdown of the relationship due to infidelity. After sending the message, Lu Yao turned off his phone. She stared blankly at the medical examination form, recalling what the doctor had just said. The doctor said that she had undergone surgery on her uterus when she was young, but she managed to conceive with a pre-positioned fetus. If the child was aborted, it could cause massive bleeding and infertility. However, if she persists in giving birth, it could result in two lives. Little one, you're really going to give mom a hard time. She carefully caressed her flat lower abdomen. If this child is born, they will definitely look very similar to Qing Jiayan. 
I hope you don't have such a bad temper like him, otherwise no girl would like it. The rain gradually stopped. Lu Yao walked out of the hospital and prepared to return to his own apartment. Ching Jian lived in the old residence of the Qing family before his marriage, but after getting married, he moved out under the guise of wanting to live in a world of two. He has many properties, but he never leads the way to his own house. But I bought another top-dot-level apartment in the city center specifically to block the mouths of the Qing family. After the divorce, the apartment was allocated to her. Lu Yao is not a woman with traditional backbone. She loved money, so when Qing Jian threw money at her, she agreed without hesitation. Dedicating two years of youth can earn a large sum of money and a house, but it seems like a steady and profitable business. Of course, if the premise is that she doesn't love Ching Jian at all. Lu Yao let out a light sigh, and the child in his belly seemed to sense her sadness, with a hint of pain coming from his lower abdomen. She quickly touched her belly and whispered, Baby, be good. No matter whether dad wants you or not, mom will always be with you. Half a day ago, she was still hesitating whether or not to have this child, but now she can't help but fantasize about what he will look like after birth. Lu Yao tugged at the corners of his mouth with difficulty, thinking to himself that maternal love is truly an uncontrollable emotion. While still in the car, Mrs. Ching called. Lu Yao frowned, knowing without hesitation that she had come to give birth again. As expected, as soon as the phone was connected, Jiang Rong spoke up and said, Xiao Yao, come over here. I specifically found a gynecologist to prescribe a side medication for you, and I guarantee you will be pregnant in half a month. Mom. Lu Yao's eyes trembled slightly as he tried several times to tell Jiang Rong about his pregnancy. But she eventually held back. This child is hers and has nothing to do with the Qing family. What's going on? Jiang Rong sensitively noticed that her condition was not right. Did Ozawa bully you? No, I'll go back now, she obediently said. Lu Yao asked the driver to turn the car around and drove all the way to the old residence of the Qing family. The pain coming from the lower abdomen is becoming increasingly apparent. The doctor has said that her body is very unsuitable for pregnancy, and even if she doesn't do anything, there is a possibility of miscarriage, and there is a possibility of massive bleeding at any time. She pressed down on her stomach and walked quickly into the house. Jiang Rong was chatting happily with others, and it wasn't until Lu Yao stood for a long time that he remembered her. Good child, why are you just standing? Sit down quickly. She pretended to be a good mother. In law in the eyes of outsiders, constantly asking for warmth and comfort from the distance. Others cast envious gazes at Lu Yao, all envious of her marrying into a wealthy and kind family. Only Lu Yao knew that this was Jiang Rong's favorite scene and deliberately embarrassed her to pretend to be a good person in front of outsiders. Because his stomach hurt too much, Lu Yao didn't have the mood to accompany her in acting. After she finished speaking, he immediately found a seat to sit down. Jiang Rong's expression was somewhat unpleasant, and she gave her a displeased glance. Are you feeling unwell? Let Dr. Xiaotong show you, Jiang Rong pretended and said. No need, mom. Lu Yao nervously shook his head and instinctively turned his hand behind him. However, a girl with a beautiful face has already walked towards her. Mrs. Cheng, don't be nervous, I'll help you sense your pulse. The girl smiled with two pair swirls on her lips, looking cute and full of vitality, with a completely different personality from hers. No need. Lu Yao tried his best to maintain calmness, but the girl persisted in pulling her. She frowned and a wave of anger rose in her heart, but she didn't want to forcefully shake off the girl. Ah! The girl exclaimed in surprise and fell straight back. Lu Yao. Suddenly, a cold shout came from behind. Ching Jian, who had not seen her for a long time, walked straight past her, picked up the girl who had fallen to the ground, and stared at her with eyes fixed on her enemies. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 They seem like strangers. 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 They seem like strangers, if I hadn't seen you, would I still want to kill her? What did she do to you? Ching Jian's anger in his eyes was not concealed. He has always been a person who is indifferent to emotions and rarely shows such emotions. Especially now in front of Jiang Rong, he has never been so impolite. Apologize, he said coldly, treating Lu Yao not as if he were a married couple, but as if he were a stranger. Lu Yao stared at him for a moment, unable to understand why he was so angry. However, when her gaze fell on the hand that he naturally placed on the girl's shoulder, she suddenly realized that the sweet girl with a smile was the white moonlight he held in his heart to love. No, it should be said to be a substitute for white moonlight. She hastily lowered her eyes, afraid for a moment to confront the girl's inexperienced and bright eyes. No wonder she feels familiar with the girl. When she was in high school, she made the best sisters, Shen Xian, who has the same shining eyes as this girl, and can imitate every smile and every smile. Lu Yao and Ching Jian met when they were wearing open crotch pants, which can be considered childhood sweethearts. The two of them knew early on that their family had made an engagement, and as soon as they reached their age, they would go and get married. Unfortunately, Ching Jian was with Shen Xian in high school. Ching Jian said he is too familiar with Lu Yao. Even if he is familiar, holding hands feels like holding his left hand and right hand. He promised to marry Lu Yao in the future, but before getting married, he will experience love once. Lu Yao foolishly watched as Ching Jian and her best friend left side by side, and in the end, she was the only one left in the same place. What's even more despicable is that Shen Xian died when Ching Jian loved her the most. When she died, she seemed to have taken away the proud and reckless boy, leaving only an empty shell, which made her dislike Lu Yao. Lu Yao instinctively covered his chest, and a sour feeling surged into his heart. I'm sorry, she said in a deep voice. She apologized cleanly without any defense for herself. This action actually made the little girl feel embarrassed. No, no, it's my fault. The girl quickly waved her hand, afraid that it might affect the harmony within the Qing family. But she has obviously had an impact. Jiang Rong's gaze flickered between the three of them, old and sharp, as if she had already understood the strange relationship between them. Lu Yao keenly sensed that she had begun to suspect the relationship between Qing Jian and the girl. He quickly pretended to be jealous and pushed the girl away, affectionately holding on to Ching Jian's arm. Husband, he was a bit immature just now, but you just hit me hard, he's so sad. She pinched her throat and pretended to be disgusted when she looked at her. Ching Jian frowned and showed displeasure, but at least he didn't push her away. Be good, my husband apologizes to you. He reached out and touched Lu Yao's hair, pretending to be a good husband in the eyes of outsiders as usual. The girl next to her was young, and upon seeing this scene, her face instantly lost its color. She secretly glanced at Ching Jian with red circles around her eyes. Lu Yao thought to himself that she must have hated herself extremely in her heart. The farce just now was fooled by Lu Yao's teasing. Immediately, everyone took their seats, and Ching Jian and the girl pretended not to know each other and sat in a distance. Lu Yao looked coldly at them, his tired eyes drawn, and he couldn't help but sneer in his heart, feeling like the queen mother who had separated the cowherd and weaver girl. A few words from Ching Jian made Jiang Rong forget about this incident, and they remained peaceful until they left. Jiang Rong didn't let them go until after dinner. Xiao Yao, take back the medicine prescribed by the doctor and remember to take it on time, she repeatedly reminded before leaving. Over the years, Lu Yao has taken countless medicines to get pregnant, including various strange medicinal herbs. Now she feels nauseous when she smells the medicine. Her face visibly turned ugly, but she had to accept that pile of expensive medicinal herbs. She didn't throw the box of medicinal herbs onto the road until she left the Qing family's old house and drove onto the road. I didn't expect you to be so jealous. Even if you were bullied on Tong, you wouldn't dare to say it. 
I hope you don't get into trouble with her, otherwise, Ching Jian said, holding the steering wheel in one hand. The car drove through the tunnel, and the alternating lights cast a shadow on his face. Your mother is waiting to die in the hospital. His tone was calm as if discussing today's weather. However, it caused Lu Yao's heart to be filled with turbulent waves. She instinctively clenched the corner of her clothes, and her lower abdomen began to ache again. I didn't bother her, you know, as long as I can keep my mother alive, you can ask me to do anything. Oh, climbing the bed is also okay. Ching Jian sneered, his sarcasm on his face not concealed. Lu Yao fell silent in an instant. She remained silent until she passed through this deep tunnel. Two years ago, the Lu family went bankrupt, and her mother was diagnosed with a terminal illness. Overnight, the family members who sheltered her grew up became the weak ones who needed her care. She had to bear the burden of her family, and in order to raise money, she chose to work as a waiter in a private club. There, she met Ching Jian, whom she had not seen in many years. He was calculated to faint in the clubhouse, and she resisted all the pressure to take him away. Unexpectedly, Ching Jian's competitor edited a video of them entering a hotel to make peace and threaten him. Although Ching Jian solved his competitors, he suspected that Lu Yao had climbed onto his bed that night. Lu Yao originally wanted to have the courage to refute, but at that time her mother had already been admitted to the ICU, and the hospitalization fee alone was as high as 20,000 yuan. In order to make money, she had to deceive Ching Jian without conscience, forcing him to fulfill his engagement and marry him, so that his mother could live on. She will no longer defend herself, let Ching Jian treat her as a scheming woman who worships money. It's best that after this period of time, they are old and dead, so that she can live quietly with her child in a place he can't see. Lu Yao gently caressed his lower abdomen and said in his heart, It's about to end. Ching Jian loves to give a sweet date with a stick. Seeing Lu Yao keep silent, he thought she was still jealous and reached out to touch her head. He slowed down his voice and said, I know you don't have that much in mind. Don't worry, after the matter is resolved, I will give you another sum of money. The doctor who specializes in fighting cancer abroad will come over to treat your mother. Lu Yao's eyes lit up instantly, and his expression softened a lot. Ching Jian glanced at her and said, I have arranged for a good person. He is a young actor. In a few days, you can play a play with him. Lu Yao's expression froze. She lowered her eyes, covered her disappointment, and her red lips slightly raised, revealing a charming smile. Got it. What should come will eventually come. After all, it was her own request from others, and even if she felt uncomfortable, she had to pretend to be grateful and have no face. Ching Jian is quite respectable. He told her the matter and didn't solve it privately. After all, it's not impossible for him to directly ruin her reputation with his abilities. Lu Yao leaned against the car window, his gaze fixed on his shadow reflected on the glass. They really seem like strangers. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Photos of Infidelity You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Photos of Infidelity Three days later, Lu Yao appeared at the entrance of a five-dot-star hotel wearing a sexy suspender red dress. Her stomach is still very flat, and due to vomiting during pregnancy, she has even lost some weight. The slim-fitting dress perfectly outlines her beautiful figure, and just standing there makes the man excited and nosebleeds. She scrutinized the man passing by at the door, and Ching Jian told her that he was a young actor in a hurry to rise to power. He was tall and handsome, and he would never mistreat her. In no time, a tall and handsome man passed in front of Lu Yao. This is the only handsome man that Lu Yao has seen so far. You finally came. She quickly followed the man and affectionately took his arm. Lu Jingchuan lowered his gaze and looked at the little woman beside him, frowning as he scrutinized her delicate face. He was convinced that he didn't know her. What are you waiting for? Go inside quickly, I'm freezing to death. Today, 
City A suffered a rare rainstorm in a hundred years. Lu Yao stood in the rain for a long time in a thin skirt, and his upper teeth were frozen. She anxiously urged, but little did she know that it sounded like coquettishness to Lu Jingchuan. Who are you? He raised his eyebrows and looked at her with a half-smile. There are many women who actively approach him, but she is the only one who is so blatant. Lu Yao's pretty face showed some dissatisfaction and he asked, Ching Jiayan hasn't mentioned me to you before. Upon hearing the words, Ching Jiayan, Lu Jingchuan's expression became somewhat strange. Are you referring to Ching Jiayan, the Qing group that runs the jewelry business? Although he has business dealings with the Qing group, Ching Jiayan wouldn't have given him such a big gift on his first day in a city. Yeah, Lu Yao saw this person finally figure out what he was doing here and quickly dragged him towards the hotel. Hurry up, which room are you in? Her movements were so skillful that Lu Jingchuan completely misunderstood her as a woman in a special industry. Lu Jingchuan's eyes flashed clearly, and a hint of disgust and rejection appeared between his eyebrows. He then calmly broke free from her hand. You do look very attractive, but please tell Mr. Cheng that I am not this kind of person. Lu Yao was angry and laughed at by him. I stood in the wind and rain waiting for him for half an hour, not to mention, but also to take Zhou with her. Is it difficult to add money? We all follow Ching Jiayan's instructions to do things. I don't have time to argue with you about these things. It's better to finish early than to finish early. Yu Guang caught a glimpse of the paparazzi in charge of taking photos staring at them across the street. She felt a sense of anxiety in her heart, too lazy to continue entangled with this person. Just take intimate photos of her and other men on the left and right, and not all the bed photos and kissing photos are photos. Lu Yao caught his neck off guard and tiptoed to kiss him. Her cold kiss landed on his chin. A hint of surprise flashed on Lu Jingchuan's handsome face and he suddenly dodged backwards. His collar rubbed against Lu Yao's lipstick, and the blush on his pure white collar looked so dazzling. You. He changed his previous indifference and tightly pursed his lips, obviously not expecting Lu Yao to be so bold. Lu Yao, however, seemed unable to tell that he was angry, with a sly smile on his lips. Happy cooperation. Seeing that the paparazzi had already captured their ambiguous photos, she turned around without hesitation and left. Lu Jingchuan looked at her graceful figure in a secluded manner, as if trying to imprint her appearance into his mind. Half an hour later, the photos were sent to Ching Jiayan's company. Mr. Cheng, the photo is on your desk. Mmm. Ching Jiayan replied casually, buried in a mountain of documents. After finishing his work, he casually took out a photo and lazily glanced at it. In the photo, Lu Yao affectionately held the man's shoulder and kissed him, as if they were a couple in a passionate relationship. His originally indifferent expression suddenly changed, and his expression gradually became serious. After a long time, he let out a sneer. Ha ha. Ching Jiayan stared fixedly at Lu Yao with a smiling face. She smiled happily. I found a new home just two months after my divorce, and it's truly her. Ching Jiayan couldn't help but feel a surge of anger in his heart. Although the photo was taken by him, watching Lu Yao get close to other men made him feel inexplicably uncomfortable. Even if he throws away Ching Jiayan's things, he cannot give them to others. The secretary, seeing that he seemed angry, cautiously asked, Mr. Cheng, are the photos still being sent? Wait a little longer. Ching Jiayan stared at Lu Yao's delicate face, but his thoughts returned to two years ago. That night, he wasn't drunk. He knew he hadn't touched Lu Yao, and he gave her a chance afterwards. Unfortunately, she didn't cherish it and instead joined his competitors in calculating him. Then don't blame him for turning his back and not recognizing anyone. Ching Jiayan's heart was in chaos. Unable to read a single word in the document, he pinched his brow and calmly dialed Lu Yao's number. As soon as the phone was connected, he coldly asked, Where is it? Hotel. 
Lu Yao held a cup of hot milk in his hand and waited for a long time before regaining consciousness. Ching Jiayan became increasingly certain that Lu Yao had found a good place to go, and a hint of sarcasm flashed in his eyes. Why, that person is so handsome that you can't bear to leave. Lu Yao, you just divorced me a few days ago and exposed your true nature. You can't walk when you see a man. Upon hearing this, Lu Yao's expression immediately cooled down. It was him who made her act and cheat, and it was him who turned around and scolded her for being vulgar. Indeed, in his eyes, everything he did was wrong. If it weren't for her mother's illness not getting better, she would really want to return this statement as it is. She took a deep breath, suppressed the restlessness in her heart, and endured it. Give you thirty minutes, get back immediately. Ching Jian said sternly. Got it. Even if unwilling, she could only obediently get up and leave. Halfway through the car, her phone rang again. Lu Yao thought it was Ching Jian urging him again, but impatiently answered. Before she could speak, an anxious voice came from the other end of the phone. Miss Lu Yao, your mother is missing. Come to the hospital quickly. What? Lu Yao was so anxious that he almost jumped out of the car. Without saying a word, he turned around and drove to the hospital. She rushed all the way to her mother's hospital room, with the bed empty and the blankets neatly folded. At a glance, she knew that her mother was intentionally leaving. She walked to the hospital bed with a pale face, tightly gripping the bed pole to force herself to calm down. Mom, she didn't bring any personal belongings and only left in sick clothes, so she shouldn't have walked far. Have you searched for the rooftop yet? She asked in a low voice. Not yet. The nurse shook her head and thought to herself, the whole hospital knows that this patient is Ching Jian's mother. In law, and there is plenty of money to treat her. How could she possibly jump off the building? However, Upon hearing this, Lu Yao's face instantly turned pale and ran towards the elevator. She knew her mother's personality, and her mother disappeared without saying a word, indicating that she was already prepared. She had never felt that time was so long in the elevator, just a few minutes seemed like centuries had passed. Running all the way to the rooftop, her mother was indeed standing on the edge of the rooftop. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Breaking Off Relationships You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Breaking Off Relationships Lu Yao clenched his wrist hard, forcing himself to calm down. Mom, she shouted softly, afraid of stimulating her mother. Mom turned her head to look at her, with a smile on her diseased face. Xiao Yao, to be honest with your mother, have you already divorced Ching Jian? Lu Yao's body trembled and his eyes unconsciously showed a sense of guilt. No, she shook her head. Don't lie to me. Two years ago, you said Ching Jian wanted to marry you and spent a lot of money transferring me to this hospital. It's only now that I realize our family is bankrupt and why they are still willing to fulfill their engagement. Lin Wan's emaciated body was almost on the verge of collapse when the wind blew, but she still held on until Lu Yao arrived, wanting to personally question her. Mom, I've said that Ching Jian doesn't care about our family's money. He genuinely likes me, and we haven't divorced yet. Don't worry. She even believed herself when she told too many lies. However, Lin Wan's eyes turned red and she said with heartache, when will you keep it from me? If I knew you were begging the Ching family for my illness, I would rather die two years ago. She was so excited that she almost collapsed outside the rooftop. Lu Yao's heart felt like he was riding a roller coaster, instantly lifting up. Mom, what nonsense are you talking about? She screamed and hurriedly wanted to rush over to save her mother. However, Lin Wan rushed to the edge of the rooftop, clinging tightly to the railing and shouting sternly, Lu Yao, your father has already been forced to death by money. I don't want you to sacrifice your happiness because of money. Mom has never thought of dragging you down. You promised me to leave the Ching family, and I won't be cured of this illness. Mom, I. Lu Yao's heart twisted into a ball. 
I will leave, but not now. Even if she sacrifices her dignity, she will persist until the day her mother recovers from illness. However, Lin Wan couldn't wait anymore. She shook her head and gave a resolute command, I want you to separate from Qing Jian now. Lu Yao had never seen her so stubborn and vaguely sensed something was wrong. Did someone say something to you? she asked. Lin Wan's expression did indeed change. She looked at Lu Yao in pain and despair, saying, I already know that you deliberately seduced Qing Jian and forced him to marry you in order to save me. Mom also knows that you have not been happy in the past two years, silly child. Mom's illness cannot be cured. Can you live for yourself? She hates herself for getting this deadly terminal illness. If it weren't for her, why did Lu Yao, who had been proud for half his life, fall to this point? It's all her fault. Promise me, otherwise I'll jump off here. Lin Wan became crazy, and the railing creaked as she shook it. Lu Yao's heart almost jumped out of his throat, and without hesitation, he said, I promise you. In an instant, her eyes turned red. Why did fate torture their mother and daughter so much? My mother's illness cannot be cured. Even if she were to smash a golden mountain, it would only allow her to live a few more years without much pain. After agreeing to Lin Wan's words, Lu Yao finally walked off the rooftop. Lu Yao hugged his mother tightly, knowing that once she stopped taking medication, her mother would not live for six months. Mom. Xiao Yao, mom just wants you to be happy. Lin Wan affectionately touched Lu Yao's head, and a smile appeared on her haggard face. Lu Yao quickly turned away his face, tears streaming down his face. After returning to the ward, Lin Wan happily packed her luggage, even humming a tune as if her illness had been cured. Lu Yao looked at her figure with a complex expression in his eyes. The mother and daughter quickly completed the discharge procedures and took a taxi back to the apartment. After coaxing Lin Wan to sleep, Lu Yao finally had the mood to deal with his own affairs. Opening the phone, dozens of missed calls suddenly appeared. She was stunned when Qing Jian's phone call came back. Where did you go? His voice was deep, and at the sound, it was evident that he was suppressing his anger. Lu Yao lost his mind and had a slight illusion that he actually cared about himself. But soon she woke up and asked, We're already divorced, where is my freedom to go? Lu Yao, do you want to rebel? If you dare to refute me again, I will withdraw the doctors from the hospital. Seeing him threatening himself with his mother's condition again, Lu Yao couldn't hold his breath. Ching Jian, you're just a jerk. She let out a roar, wanting to vent all the resentment she had been holding for the past two years. She was trembling all over, and the successive blows had already overwhelmed her thin and weak body. In a daze, she felt like she had lived a joke for the past two years, not even wanting dignity for Ching Jian and money. Two years have passed, and in the end, she has nothing. Even my mother is leaving her. On the other end of the phone, Ching Jian was stunned. Lu Yao has never spoken to herself in this tone before. She has always had a low eyebrow and a pleasing expression, and no matter how much she demands, she dare not disobey her. What happened today after cursing, Lu Yao quickly hung up the phone. A beep came from the receiver, and Ching Jian's anger burst out. No one dares to hang up on his phone yet. However, when he called again, Lu Yao had already blocked his number. Okay, he sneered, ready to let Lu Yao know the cost of offending him. Contact the public relations department and release the photos, he instructed his secretary coldly. Mr. Cheng. There seems to be something wrong with the photo, the secretary stuttered to Ching Jian. The secretary pointed at the man in the photo with Ching Jian's murderous gaze. This person doesn't seem to be the actor we hired. Say it again. Ching Jian raised his eyebrows, his deep eyes filled with resentment. He stared straight at the photo, where the man in it had intimate contact with Lu Yao, only to say that they were not portrayed. No wonder she dares to speak to herself in this tone, it turns out that someone is backing her up. Oh, her courage is really great. Get ready, 
push off all today's meetings, I'll go out for a trip. He wants to ask Ching Luyao in person who he has been colluding with, no wonder she agreed so decisively when he proposed divorce. Ching Jian has always been proud and self-reliant, and even things he doesn't like can't be snatched by others. Even though he doesn't like Lu Yao, the two of them have known each other for over twenty years, and Lu Yao has long become an indispensable part of his life. He didn't even realize that he was afraid that one day Lu Yao would really leave him. He personally drove and rushed all the way to the entrance of the apartment. When he rang the doorbell and opened the door, he looked up at Lu Yao with a cold smile. Why did you come? Lu Yao looked at him in surprise, instinctively blocking the door, not wanting his mother to know about Ching Jian's existence. However, Ching Jian misunderstood that she was feeling guilty. His gaze turned inward as he passed by, and when he saw the bedroom door tightly closed and there was movement coming from inside, his face immediately turned black. Don't welcome me. As he spoke, he pushed open the door and walked in step. Lu Yao didn't expect him to be so rogue, but she remembered her mother's words, so she decided to have a good talk with him. You came just in time. I have something to talk to you about. End of this chapter Chapter 5 We are true love. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 We are true love, what? Ching Jian looked deeply at Lu Yao, and he suddenly realized that she was so thin that he didn't know her anymore, and he no longer had the stubborn and proud energy he had before. When did they go from childhood sweethearts who talked about everything to enemies who despised each other? Ching Jian frowned, feeling that this was not the outcome he had imagined. I want to announce the divorce as soon as possible, but I need to tell the truth. I can't say it was caused by my infidelity anymore. Lu Yao took a deep breath, lowered his eyes to cover his tired eyes, unsure if Ching Jian would agree. To be safe, she quickly added, of course, I will return the money to you. What about your mother's hospitalization expenses? Ching Jian suddenly asked, grasping her lifeline with one sentence. If it were in the past, Lu Yao would compromise without hesitation, even if he wanted his own life, she would agree. But now she has to listen to her mother and live for herself once. She wants to leave for nothing. You don't have to worry about my mother's affairs. Whether you agree or not, I will announce to the public that we are breaking up peacefully. I hope you can cooperate to avoid making things too unpleasant in the end. Seeing that she had only gone to the hotel and was determined to divorce him, Ching Jian felt an indescribable blockage in his heart. What did that man promise her to be willing to give up such a large sum of money? Is he better able to satisfy you? He asked in a deep voice. Lu Yao was taken aback for a moment, frowned, and said, What are you talking about? Ching Jian, however, mistook her reaction for a guilty conscience. He sneered, stood up, and slowly approached Lu Yao. Until he pushed her to the wall, he propped his hands on both sides of her body, tightly holding her in his arms. This is his favorite thing to do every time he gets angry, forcing Lu Yao to have nowhere to escape. Watching her struggle like a bird in prison, she had to compromise in the end. He thought that Lu Yao was the same this time, but before he could speak, Lu Yao became impatient. I'm not joking with you, I'm just saying a peaceful breakup without mentioning your infidelity. Before he could finish speaking, Ching Jian's kiss suddenly fell. His kiss was mixed with thick anger, and the strong and crazy attack made Lu Yao unable to resist. He couldn't wait to conquer Lu Yao and see her showing weakness and sinking under him again. It seems that this is the only way to prove that she has not changed, she has always been the foolish girl waiting for her in the same place. To be honest, when he saw Lu Yao intimately interacting with other men, he first experienced what anger was. This is a feeling he has never experienced in twenty-eight years. He wished he could throw Lu Yao onto the bed, make her cry, and ask her who he loved the most when she lost consciousness. Ching Jian knew he was crazy, and he was actually jealous of the woman he disliked the most. Oh, how ridiculous! Just as Ching Jian was sinking into it, he heard a faint sobbing sound. 
Lu Yao did not resist, not even struggle, only tightly closed his eyes, tears streaming down his face. True despair is mostly like this. Sorrow is greater than death in the heart. Ching Jian's heart cooled in an instant. He hastily released his hand, leaving only panic in his once passionate eyes. Is that enough? Lu Yao bit his lower lip stubbornly and looked at him. Ching Jian was stunned for a second, habitually frowning and showing a disgusted expression. What are you pretending to be? His tone remained as sharp as ever, but with a hint of exploration added. Lu Yao sneered upon hearing this, wondering what she was hoping for. She even thought that Ching Jian would feel a little heartbroken when she saw her discomfort. After all, she acted passionately on her own. Her face turned cold and she pushed Ching Jian away without hesitation, saying coldly, Your people almost forced my mother to death. I will handle this matter, and whether you agree or not, I will persist in announcing the divorce. What are you talking about? Ching Jian frowned. What does it mean that his people are trying to force her mother to death? Cheng is always a smart person, there's no need to play dumb, Lu Yao sneered at him. She found Fu Tong's internship signature in the ward, and after verification, it was confirmed that it was Fu Tong who deliberately said something to her mother before her mother collapsed and ran to the rooftop to seek her death. That girl may seem innocent and kind, but in reality, she is a heartless girl. She will calculate this account sooner or later. Oh, she really wants to see if this little white lotus can handle Jiang Rong's old white lotus. Ching Jian is too lazy to argue with Lu Yao about this. He just wants to know if there is anyone outside Lu Yao. Her interaction with that man was so intimate that it didn't seem like it could be done in just two months. Did she hook up with another man during her marriage? At the thought of such a possibility, Ching Jian's heart felt like a flame had accumulated, making him restless. How long have you known that man? he questioned. Now it was Lu Yao's turn not to understand, but in order to get rid of Ching Jian as soon as possible, she casually said, I've known each other for a long time. Upon hearing these words, Ching Jian's face immediately turned cold. Oh, you look great. He put down his harsh words and gave Lu Yao a deep glance. Even if she lied and didn't admit it, he was willing to give her another chance, but now, it's too late. The announcement of divorce is as you wish. After speaking, he turned around and left without hesitation. Lu Yao stared blankly as his back disappeared from his sight, finally unable to hold on and fell to the ground. A stream of blood flowed out from underneath, staining the floor red. Mom! She tried her best to suppress the fear in her heart, but her trembling voice exposed her panic. Tonight is destined to be a sleepless night. After being sent to the hospital, Lu Yao suffered from severe bleeding and fell into a coma. After several rounds of rescue efforts, she finally emerged from life-threatening situations one day and one night later. However, as soon as she woke up, a heavyweight news caught her off guard. Hashtag the entry for Ching Jian's ex-wife's infidelity hashtag suddenly surfaced, and a photo of Lu Yao holding a kiss from that stranger became popular all over the internet. The streets and alleys were discussing her misconduct in women's ethics and infidelity. Mom, listen to me explain. Lu Yao was afraid that his mother would listen to rumors and suddenly collapsed, causing his condition to worsen. However, to her surprise, Lin Wan acted very normally and even comforted her in return. Xiao Yao, mom is actually very open-minded. If you don't live well, you should get divorced and have the right to pursue your own happiness. Mom. Lu Yao couldn't help but be stunned. Her mother is quite a traditional woman, why does she feel like she has changed her personality today? Just as she was lost in thought, a tall and handsome man walked in from outside the hospital room. Darling, you finally woke up. Lu Jingchuan put down the flowers in his hand and affectionately gave her a gentle kiss on the face. Lu Yao was stunned. No, you are. This child, you still want to keep it from me. Lin Wan looked at Lu Yao with a happy expression and complained, Mom is not an antique. 
If it weren't for Xiao Lu telling me everything, how long would you still want to keep it from me? A chill suddenly rose in Lu Yao's heart. She looked at the stranger in front of her in shock, realizing that he was the person she had met at the hotel entrance before. She suppressed the shock in her heart and casually found a reason to take Lin Wan out. When there were only the two of them left in the ward, Lu Yao looked at him with a cold expression. Who are you, how did you find me? What did you tell my mom? Miss Lu, don't be nervous. I'm just telling your mother that we truly love each other. Lu Jingchuan looked at Lu Yao with a smile on his face, even though he was lying, it made people feel his deep affection in a daze. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Has nothing to do with it. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 has nothing to do with it, I have already divorced Qin Jian. If you have any questions, you should go find him. Lu Yao's eyes were fixed on the door, afraid that Lin Wan would go back and forth and hear their conversation. Lu Jingchuan saw her misunderstanding and lazily inserted one hand into his pocket, while the other hand took out a business card and handed it to Lu Yao. The gilded black business card exudes a luxurious aura. Lu Yao frowned and took it over, seeing the words, Lawrence Jewelry, engraved on it. There was a thunderous roar in his head, and Lu Yao immediately realized where the problem was. You're not an actor hired by Qing Jian. Of course not. Lu Jingchuan shrugged his shoulders, leaned against the door frame, and gently flipped through the news on his phone. The paparazzi sneak photos are indeed very clear, and it seems that we are very affectionate and sweet. No matter what kind of conflict you may have with your ex-husband, the fact is, I have already been implicated, Lu Jingchuan said as he slowly walked towards Lu Yao, looking at her panicked expression with interest, her slightly open red lips still tempting. Lu Yao unconsciously retreated until he pressed against the cold wall. The man in front of him and Qing Jian are the same type of person, both exuding the aura of high-dot-ranking officials. What do you want? Lu Yao thought of Lin Wan and said with a hint of prayer in his voice, Don't hurt my mother, she doesn't know anything. Do I look like such an unreasonable person? Lu Jingchuan felt her low mood and took a step back. Since the news has been exposed, let's ask you to have a relationship with me. Coincidentally, you used to be Qing Jian's wife, and I need to adapt and integrate into the jewelry industry as quickly as possible. Can you help me? I will pay the corresponding compensation. Lu Jingchuan scanned the expensive medication on the hospital bed and bedside table with his narrow eyes. I can help you pay for the medicine and hospital expenses your mother needs, but you need to ensure that this romantic relationship cannot be discovered by anyone. How's it going? Miss Lu, would you like to give it a try? Lu Jingchuan was not in a hurry to receive a reply from Lu Yao. Before coming to the hospital, he had already sent someone to conduct a detailed investigation of Lu Yao and Qing Jian. For Lu Yao now, she had no choice but to find a wooden board that could support her floating in the vast ocean. Lu Yao clenched his fist, his nails dug into his palm, and a faint tingling pain came from him. The hospital's bill urging payment, Qing Jian's cold and heartless words, the overwhelming news, and Lin Wan's happy smile all pushed her forward. She couldn't decide her life based on her own preferences. How ridiculous, pretending to be a lover. Lu Yao raised the corner of his mouth in self-deprecation and answered, Okay, I promise you. She lowered her head and stared at the tip of her shoe, muttering to herself, Anyway, I'm very familiar with it. What exactly should I do? Lu Jingchuan didn't hear the latter half of the sentence clearly and extended his hand to her, then I wish us a pleasant cooperation. Don't let my mother find out that her physical condition is very poor, I don't want her to worry about me. Lu Yao's eyes had lost their radiance, and the only person she was worried about and cared about was Lin Wan. Lu Jingchuan nodded and heard footsteps at the door. He grabbed Lu Yao's wrist and held her in his arms, affectionately caressing the back of her head. He whispered in her ear, that's nature, I'm a very ethical partner. Bang! 
When Lin Wan walked in and saw their appearance, she couldn't close her mouth with joy. Oh, did I disturb you? You keep going, I'll go out and take a walk. Lin Wan looked at Lu Jingchuan with satisfaction in her eyes. Lu Yao was startled and withdrew from Lu Jingchuan's arms. She stroked her disheveled hair and said, Mom, don't talk nonsense, the two of us. She paused for a moment. It seems that there is no need to explain. They have been boyfriend and girlfriend since just now, fake. Auntie, don't worry, I will take care of her. Lu Jingchuan grabbed Lu Yao's shoulder and spread out his hand, give me your phone. Lu Yao handed it over in a daze, watching as Lu Jingchuan entered a string of numbers inside, and then pressed the dial button. Accompany me to a dinner party tomorrow, and I will send you the address. Lu Jingchuan politely chatted with Lin Wan again and left the hospital. In the evening, Lu Yao saw the high dot end custom dress being delivered to the hospital ward, and his phone rang with a beeping sound. It was customized according to your body size, and I will pick you up tomorrow night. Lu Jingchuan Lu Yao opened the snow pear paper and frowned at the white strapless dress. The next evening, Lu Yao appeared at the entrance of S Hotel, holding Lu Jingchuan's arm. Countless reporters were squatting outside with long guns and short cannons. When they saw Lu Yao, they immediately rushed forward like hyenas sniffing prey. The flash made Lu Yao unable to open his eyes and instinctively hid behind Lu Jingchuan. Miss Lu, may I ask if your divorce from Qing Jiayan is due to a change in relationship or infidelity within marriage? Is this the person you're cheating on? Do you know that you're dating a married man? Are you taking your new boyfriend to the dinner hosted by Mr. Qing Jiayan to demonstrate? The reporter's chaotic words sounded like sharp knives in Lu Yao's ear. Her lips gradually turned pale and lost their color until she heard Qing Jiayan's name. She looked up in panic and saw the Qing Group logo hanging outside the hotel. You. Lu Yao knew he was being used by Lu Jingchuan, but he couldn't say anything and just wanted to escape as soon as possible. However, Lu Jingchuan held her wrist and looked at the person walking out of the car in the distance. His voice was cold and he said, Miss Lu and I met and fell in love after their divorce. Please stop spreading rumors and slander immediately. Otherwise, I reserve the right to pursue legal action against you. As soon as Qing Jiayan got out of the car, he saw a scene in front of him, his eyes filled with vultures and anger staring at Lu Yao. She trembled and nestled in Lu Jingchuan's arms, with a friendly posture. Damn woman, she found her next home so quickly. You're really not behaving properly. As for what you should pay attention to, isn't it Mr. Cheng? After finishing speaking, Lu Jingchuan looked up and pointed in Qing Jiayan's direction, with a contemptuous curve at the corner of his mouth, staring at the little green tea flower next to Qing Jiayan who was about to bite his lips. He seems to have a new emotional trend too. Maybe the person who cheated on him in marriage is not Lu Yao, but some decent-looking guy. Qing Jiayan's vision is really poor. Let's go. In a few words, Lu Jingchuan diverted the reporter's attention and walked towards the field with his arm around Lu Yao's shoulder. Help you recapture the city, owe me one. Don't lose face with me later. Lu Yao felt an angry gaze behind her, and she straightened her spine without answering. He must hate himself very much. But what can we do? They have no relationship anymore. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 We are true love. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 We are true love Ching Jiayan and Fu Tong avoided the reporter's questioning, and he looked around with a furious expression, searching for the figure of Lu Yao. Lu Yao accompanied Lu Jingchuan and exchanged greetings with many familiar faces. Mrs. Cheng, long time no see. Oh, look at my mouth, just pretend I didn't say anything just now. Throughout the dinner, countless gossiping gazes focused on Lu Yao, with jealous eyes pouring dirty water on her. Lu Yao could even think of it with his eyes closed, but she didn't care. She followed Lu Jingchuan like a string puppet. The atmosphere made her feel suffocated, 
her head faintly dizzy. I'll go to the bathroom, Lu Yao lightly patted Lu Jingxuan's arm she quickly turned around and walked towards the corner of the corridor. The next second, an arm reached out in the darkness and grabbed her, firmly gripping her shoulder and pushing her onto the icy wall. Lu Yao was wearing a strapless evening gown with a bare back, and his entire smooth back was covered in tiles, giving rise to goosebumps. You really have the ability. In just a few days, I found another man. Ching Jian's words carried a hint of mockery. He grabbed Lu Yao's chin and looked at his watery eyes, tell me. Are you already hooked up with him? Lu Yao, I take care of you. You put a green hat on my back, right? His strength was so great that Lu Yao felt that his bones would be crushed by Ching Jian. She doesn't understand what Ching Jian is really angry about. Do you feel that his plaything once belonged to him, but now he has another owner, so you're not willing? Hatred and coldness surged in Lu Yao's eyes. She gritted her teeth and shook off Ching Jian's arm, saying, Mr. Cheng, I hope you can be more self-centered. We have no relationship now. If we really investigate, there is actual evidence of your infidelity in marriage. Thinking of that similar face, Lu Yao's heart inevitably hurt. Take care of your people. If she sees you privately looking for me, she will definitely be jealous and jealous. Lu Yao didn't allow herself to shed tears in front of Ching Jian. She bit her lips and proudly lifted her neck to walk outside. Ching Jian was blinded by anger, and such emotions should not appear in Lu Yao's eyes. She should always look up to herself, yearning for his mercy and sympathy, waiting for his charity of love, rather than being ignored with hatred or even numbness like now. Ching Jian thought of this and frantically leaned down to kiss Lu Yao's lips, attempting to pry open her toothed shell. Hiss. Ching Jian grabbed the back of Lu Yao's head and felt a sharp pain coming from his tongue. He took a half step back and wiped away the blood from the corner of his mouth with his hand. Lu Yao stroked his messy hair and said, We're already divorced. If you continue to harass me like this, I can call the police and catch you. Alarm. Ching Jian sneered, tugged at his tie, and pressed his tongue against the corner of his mouth, saying, Perhaps we can still figure out how much your mother's medical expenses in the hospital and your expenses for clothing, food, housing, and transportation are. Should I be given monthly support and compensation for infidelity during marriage? Ching Jian. You're going too far. Lu Yao didn't expect him to be so shameless. She clenched her fists and trembled all over, I'll pay you back. Still. How could she still be clear? Lu Yao's reaction was unexpected by Ching Jian. He had originally intended to watch Lu Yao kneel and beg for mercy, wagging his tail to beg for mercy from her. Okay, not to mention anything else, take off your earrings and necklace first. If I remember correctly, these are all things I bought for you. Ching Jian extended his index finger and lightly tapped Lu Yao's neck, his eyes flashing with a hint of amusement and appreciation. It has to be said that Lu Yao is very beautiful. She has a lotus-like temperament, and this white strapless evening dress makes her skin even whiter and more tender. Anger makes her earlobes pink, with a touch of seduction and allure. The red and swollen lips also make Ching Jian unable to take her gaze away. Lu Yao lowered his eyes and did not notice the change in Ching Jian's gaze. She looked at the Pato stone necklace on her neck, gently stroking the diamond inlaid pattern with her fingertips, her palms tingling with pain. This is Ching Jian's first gift to her, a birthday gift for the coming of age ceremony. It was also on that day that Ching Jian said with an irresistible look in her eyes, Lu Yao, I am with Shen Xian now. Can you help me hide it from my family? Please, you will agree to me, right? On that day, Lu Yao felt a heart-wrenching sensation, but she still nodded and swallowed all her tears into her stomach. When Lu Jingchuan came to pick her up, Lu Yao inexplicably took out the necklace from the safe and put it on. She had to admit it, thinking loudly in her heart. She guessed that she would meet Ching Jian, and she wanted to bet that Ching Jian still had her in her heart. Sure enough, 
it ended in disappointment. Lu Yao slowly raised his hand, hooked the lock with his fingertips, untied the necklace, and handed it to Qing Jiayan, I'll give it back to you. Qing Jiayan frowned and did not go to pick him up. Dong! The necklace slipped from Lu Yao's hand and fell to the ground with a muffled sound. Are you just trying to set aside everything that's related to me? How much did he give you? Lu Yao, you're my woman. Qing Jiayan's eyes turned red as he gritted his teeth and rushed over to grab her wrist. Do you want it or not? I can consider other ways. Bang! As Lu Yao struggled to break free, he felt a throbbing pain in his abdomen. Lu Jingchuan waved his fist and flipped Qing Jiayan to the ground. He supported Lu Yao's shoulders with both hands and bent down to ask, Xiao Yao, are you okay? You haven't come back for too long. I'm worried you might have an accident, so I came over to take a look. He took off his coat and draped it over Lu Yao's body. Why are you sweating so much? I'll take you to the hospital. No need. I'll go sit down for a while. Lu Yao shook his head suddenly, going to the hospital would expose her pregnancy situation, and Qing Jiayan must not know. Qing Jiayan propped himself up on the ground and stumbled to his feet. He rubbed his messy hair and stared at Lu Jingchuan, are you the new man she's looking for? Do you know what kind of woman Lu Yao is? She only has me in her heart. After all these years, no matter what, she has to stay by my side. Mr. Cheng, I hope you don't slander Xiao Yao anymore. She is now my girlfriend, and I hope you can also look forward and not always look back. Lu Jingchuan hugged Lu Yao's shoulder and found her so weak that she couldn't walk. He slightly bent his knees and picked her up horizontally. Close your eyes and rest for a while. I'll send you back when it's over outside, he said without the strength to answer, Lu Yao leaned her head on Lu Jingchuan's shoulder and fell asleep with her eyes closed. Qing Jiayan stared at their distant figures, lifted his fist and fiercely smashed it against the wall beside him. Blood was left through the gaps of the fingers, dropping drop by drop onto the ground. Fu Tong, hiding in the dark, put everything under his eyes and ran out, pretending to be nervous. He hugged Qing Jiayan's arm in pain and said, why is it so badly injured? I'll bandage it for you. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 The Challenge of Little Green Tea You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 The Challenge of Little Green Tea I saw Sister Lu Yao go out, did you guys argue? Fu Tong stole a glance at Qing Jiayan's face, his eyes darkened a bit, and he was so scared that his hands paused. He crouched on the ground and whispered, I was worried before that Sister Lu Yao might not be able to take it seriously, but now it seems that someone is taking care of her and she's doing quite well. This sentence touched Qing Jiayan's heart, and he immediately stood up. In the corridor, where light and shadow intertwined, Qing Jiayan stared at Lu Yao sitting in a booth in the distance. Lu Jingchuan was holding hot water and taking care of her step by step. He took out his phone and dialed the familiar number, but the call was hung up several times before Lu Yao could no longer bear to connect. She suppressed the pain in her lower abdomen and shouted, What do you really want? Move the things from home quickly. Otherwise, I'll just throw it out and give you half an hour. After Qing Jian finished speaking, he looked at Fu Tong and said, Find a driver to take you back. I have something else to do, so I'll leave first. Fu Tong nodded obediently, and when she couldn't see Qing Jian's figure, her expression finally became fierce. She gritted her teeth and said, Lu Yao. You're so haunted, Mrs. Chang's identity will eventually be mine. Qing Jia, Lu Jingchuan drove a car and Lu Yao came back. He held the steering wheel and asked, Do you need me to accompany you? No need, thank you. Lu Yao weakly pushed open the car door and walked straight into the villa. This villa is their home, but Qing Jiayan doesn't come back often. He has many apartments outside. Compared to home, this place is more like a runway that creates the illusion of a loving couple for others. She turned on the lights in the foyer, saw several photos in the living room, 
and walked slowly to the second floor. In the wardrobe of the bedroom, only her clothes could be found, and next to the silk nightgown hung two sets of brand new men's pajamas, but Ching Jian had not worn them. Lu Yao took them out and threw them into the trash can. She opened the drawer and took out the yellowed ledger inside. A thick stack, with movie ticket stubs, gas station receipts, and more densely packed handwriting, wrote the little things that Ching Jian and her had done for so many years. Lu Yao's eyes were devoid of any emotion. She found a lighter, lit the pages of the book, and let the raging flames burn her fingers until they were too hot to bear before throwing them to the ground. The flames devoured the once distant road. Actually, there was nothing to take away. When Lu Yao came out, he was just holding a soft and fluffy civet cat in his arms. It seemed to sense something and gently licked Lu Yao's fingers. Your cat. Lu Jingchuan asked, and Lu Yao nodded, I picked it up from outside. Qin Jian hates cats very much. It was Shen Xian who said she liked them that forced her to stay. I have been taking care of them all along. Lu Yao leaned his head against the car window and gazed deeply at the dark window. If we leave it behind, it will definitely die. Can you help me find a place to live? Lu Yao had no strength, and her lips turned pale as she looked at Lu Jingchuan. They can now be considered partners, but ironically, Lu Jingchuan is the only person he can rely on. Okay. Lu Jingchuan raised the temperature inside the car and drove slowly away. Qing Jian drove a black Audi and brushed past them. When he returned to the villa, he saw the ashes all over the bedroom and squinted his eyes. Lu Yao. Are you just trying to get rid of me? Hello. Lawyer Zhao, immediately draft a document for me. Regarding Lu Yao, no one should know. Qing Jian hung up the phone, took out two bottles of whiskey from the liquor cabinet, opened it, and took a few gulps. The spicy liquor flowed down his throat into his stomach, and Qing Jian suddenly choked and coughed. In the latter half of the night, Lu Yao woke up from a nightmare, with pouring rain outside the window. The phone placed on the bedside table was constantly shaking, and more than twenty missed calls made her call back in surprise. Madam, sir has a stomach disease and has been taken to the hospital. Come and take a look. On the other end of the phone is Ching Jian's butler, who takes good care of Lu Yao, so he has her number. What does it have to do with him even if he dies in the hospital? Lu Yao lay in bed, covered in a blanket, wanting to fall back and continue sleeping. But the thunder outside the window made her toss and turn, and the haggard appearance of Ching Jian when he fell ill always came to mind. After hesitating for a while, she still put on her coat, stopped a taxi, and rushed to the hospital. She searched for the ward number sent by the butler, and just a second before pushing the door, she saw Fu Tong. Fu Tong sat by the bed, carefully taking care of Ching Jian. Ching Jian frowned tightly, holding on to her tightly as if whispering something. The scene of love stabbed Lu Yao's eyes, why did she come here to seek trouble? Lu Yao sneered and curled his lips, then turned back to the entrance of the elevator. The red numbers in the elevator room were slowly rising, and the sound of high heels stopped behind her. Lu Yao, let's talk, she said Fu Tong hugged his arms and tilted his head to look at her. Lu Yao looked at her face that resembled Shen Xin Xiao and followed her to the stairwell. You are just a substitute, a substitute who is closer to her than me, Lu Yao said calmly, while Fu Tong casually shook his hair. So what? Ching Jian is very kind to me. He was with me on your birthday. He was busy with meetings and when he couldn't contact you, he would cancel the meeting because of my messages. Fu Tong poked his forehead, he said he wanted to have a child with me and said if his daughter looked like me, she would definitely be very cute. Child. Lu Yao's body shook violently twice. She panicked with her naked eyes and said, does he really say that? Ching Jian hates children. He hates any unplanned variables that can easily cause changes and unexpected situations. If there is a child, go and get rid of him. Ching Jian, who could say such cruel things, said to Fu Tong, 
do you want to have a child? Lu Yao felt so ridiculous that her eyes turned red. Fu Tong continued proudly, if I were you, hold on to this man's thigh as soon as possible and stop coveting Qing Jian. Everyone can do it, but only you, because Shen Xian. He will never accept you. Fu Tong's words were like stones weighing heavily on Lu Yao, making her unable to breathe. How much do you really know? Did Qing Jian tell you everything? Those painful memories, countless nightmares that haunted her, Qing Jian was willing to tell Fu Tong. That's right, brother Qing Jian is already discussing the marriage date with my family. Hurry up and move everything away. I don't like anything left by other women in the room. Fu Tong turned around disdainfully and stared at Lu Yao through the smooth mirror. Fu Tong couldn't hide the resentment in his eyes anymore. Just now, when Qing Jian was taken to the hospital and unconscious from alcohol poisoning, the name he was reciting was actually Lu Yao. She absolutely won't allow it. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Better Choices You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Better Choices As the last sound of her character fell, Lu Yao was on the verge of collapse, barely holding onto the nearby wall to prevent himself from falling. She tugged at the corner of her mouth with self-deprecation. What are the years that I have known Qing Jian all about? Even his most painful memories are willing to share with Fu Tong without hesitation, is that how he truly trusts this woman? Don't worry, since Qing Jian and I have already divorced, I will definitely not continue to harass him. Lu Yao covered his stomach with one hand and supported the wall with the other to straighten his spine. She doesn't want to show her shyness in front of Fu Tong. So he deliberately pretended to be strong and indifferent, I used to really like Qing Jian, but that was just the past. Now that I have a better choice, why not choose someone who is truly good to me, Miss Fu? Your worries are completely unnecessary. As soon as she finished speaking, a cold and eerie voice came from behind her. Lu Yao, please tell me again. Upon hearing this sound, Lu Yao froze all over, as if his breath was painful. Fu Tong walked over with a smile and took Qing Jian's arm, cautiously approaching him timidly. Brother Jian, you're sick and can't run out. I originally wanted Sister Lu to come and see you, but she doesn't seem very willing. After speaking, he glanced timidly at Lu Yao again. That way, it seems like I have suffered a great deal of injustice. Such a pretentious appearance made Lu Yao feel nauseous. Qing Jian's vision was really poor, why did he like this kind of white lotus style? Perhaps due to alcohol poisoning, Qing Jian's face was a bit pale compared to before. At this moment, he was staring at Lu Yao motionless, with anger surging up in his heart. You have the ability to repeat what you just said, Lu Yao, you have gained skills. He listened to Lu Yao's words word for word. Qing Jian couldn't accept it. Over the years, Lu Yao had been following behind him and infatuated with him, and surprisingly, he no longer liked himself. He keeps saying that there are better options. Is that man more charming than him? Lu Yao was already angry in his heart, but now that he was threatened by Qing Jian, he suddenly felt a bit rebellious. She tilted her neck and said, I said, I don't like you anymore, especially since I already have a boyfriend. Since I'm divorced, please take it seriously, Mr. Cheng. Mr. Cheng. Such a cold synonym was spoken from Lu Yao's mouth, and Qing Jian had never heard her call him that. Okay, great. He was so angry that he sneered and grabbed Fu Tong's hand, clasping it with her ten fingers. I hope you keep your word and don't continue to pester us. Looking at the hands tightly clenched together, Lu Yao's heart was fiercely stabbed. After two years of marriage, apart from the last night, Qing Jian seemed to have never touched her at all. A severe pain in his abdomen came, and Lu Yao knew he couldn't hold on for too long. He quickly turned around and left, leaving only a stubborn sentence. That's for sure. After she left, Qing Jian immediately released Fu Tong's hand and looked coldly at the direction of the elevator leaving. Brother Jian, let me help you rest in your room. 
As Fu Tong approached again, Ching Jiayan turned around expressionlessly and said in a deep voice, It's too late. You should go home early to rest. There are caregivers here to take care of me. The smile on his face suddenly froze, and Fu Tong gritted his teeth tightly, afraid to reveal any flaws. For a moment, she showed a well-behaved and gentle smile. Then I'll leave first. Brother Jiayan, feel free to let me know if you feel any discomfort. I've been there all along. At this moment, Ching Jiayan was restless and casually waved his hand. As he returned to the ward alone, the words spoken by Lu Yao echoed back in his mind, and a hint of darkness appeared in his cold eyes. Lu Yao, I will let you know what regret is. He felt unwilling in his heart. From childhood to adulthood, Lu Yao only had his own existence in his eyes and heart, but now, another stranger has replaced him, which is a shame for Ching Jian. He picked up his phone and called his assistant. Help me contact the hospital where Lu Yao's mother is located. Outside the hospital. Looking at the dark clouds and pouring rain on the horizon, Lu Yao anxiously took out his phone and wanted to take a taxi, but he didn't know if it was because it was too late and there was no driver to take the order. The abdominal pain had been persistent for a while, and Lu Yao sucked in the air conditioning and slowly squatted down against the hospital wall. Raindrops splashed on the floor, making a distressing sound. Lu Yao suddenly remembered that when she was ten years old, she played hide-and-seek in the garden and lost her way. It was Ching Jiayan who found her in the rainstorm. At that time, he said. Don't be afraid of Xiaoyao, I'm still here when the sky falls. At that time, the young man's eyes were bright and full of worry and concern. When did it start? Ching Jiayan looked at her with only disgust and impatience in his eyes. Lu Yao tightened her thin coat and didn't know the answer to this question. Perhaps it was from the moment she deceived them into having a relationship, or even earlier. Between them, they are no longer like before. The temperature seemed to be getting lower and lower, and Lu Yao couldn't help but start trembling. Suddenly, an anxious voice came. Xiao Yao, why are you here? She looked up in shock and unexpectedly saw the figure of Lu Jingchuan here. Hurry up and get in the car with me. Seeing her seeming to be trembling, Lu Jingchuan didn't hesitate to take off his suit jacket and drape it over her until he felt the warmth inside the car. It was then that Lu Yao felt the pain on his body dissipate a bit. But both hands are still cold. Fortunately, I usually keep a few cups of hot black tea in my car. It's easy to catch a cold in this weather, so please keep warm first. Lu Jingchuan thoughtfully stuffed the heated black tea into her hand. Lu Yao's heart suddenly became mixed with five flavors. Overall, she had only known Lu Jingchuan for a few days, but she didn't expect that the person who treated her best now was this stranger. Thank you. She lowered her head and took a sip of black tea, finally feeling the temperature on her body rising. Then she had time to wonder, it's so late, how could you pass by the hospital entrance? Lu Jingchuan's deep eyebrows and eyes flickered for a second, then pointed to his phone. I just had dinner with a difficult client and happened to pass by. I didn't expect to meet you. After a pause, he asked back. And how did you come here alone? This question made it difficult for Lu Yao to mention at the moment. How should she tell Lu Jingchuan that she was worried about Ching Jian's condition, so she hurried to the hospital in the middle of the night. A few seconds later, she gently closed her eyes. I'm here to visit a sick friend. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Drive out of the hospital. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Drive out of the hospital nowadays, they can only be called friends. Upon hearing this, Lu Jingchuan seemed to glance at her thoughtfully without revealing it, only whispering softly. I'll take you back first. The apartment she currently resides in, which Lu Jingchuan found for her, although not large in size, has everything it takes. There is no way for Lu Yao to be grateful for this, only a powerless thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lu. I will make money and pay the rent to you as soon as possible. 
Lu Jingchuan is willing to help her pay for her mother's medical expenses, and Lu Yao is already grateful. This apartment is located in a bustling area, although the rent is also quite high. Although Lu Yao has promised to cooperate with him in acting, she is aware that her salary is not enough to offset her mother's medical expenses. It seems like it's time to find a job. Don't be so polite, this little money is nothing to me, he paused and mysteriously blinked. But if you really want to find a job, I have a good place to offer you. Lu Yao naturally couldn't help but beg for it. You say. With a ding-dong sound, a job advertisement for a company was posted on her phone. Lu Yao glanced at it and saw that it was a jewelry design company that coincided with her major in college. But when she saw the detailed introduction of the company, her mind was momentarily blank. Then he looked up hesitantly. Is this a company under the Qing Group? Yes. As a leading enterprise in the jewelry industry in City A, Cheng's jewelry company is indeed a good job choice, but Lu Yao cannot understand Lu Jingchuan's ideas. Why did it happen to be the Qing family? She couldn't help but suspect that this was intentional by Lu Jingchuan. The other party was frank and looked at her with a smile. Everyone can see the professional strength of Qing Group. I recommend this company to you, hoping that your strength will not be buried. If you are not willing, you can also switch to another one. Although Lu Jingchuan's words are reasonable and well-founded, Lu Yao dare not agree. Since marrying Qing Jiayan, she has never worked again. It's not that Lu Yao wants to be lazy, but rather that under the identity of the young lady of the Qing family, she is not allowed to show too much in the outside world. Now that she is divorced, she has to rely on herself to make money. Qing Group's high salary and good treatment are indeed a good choice. Just, there's no need to worry about work matters, you take your time to think about it. If you find the one you like, it's also good. It seems that she's conflicted, and Lu Jingchuan didn't force her to choose on this matter. Lu Yao silently breathed a sigh of relief. Working under Qing Jiayan, there is inevitably a chance of meeting him, and Lu Yao does not want to continue any entanglement with this man. After Lu Jingchuan left, Lu Yao realized that he had forgotten to return his suit jacket, but it had been soaked in rainwater and could only be washed another day before returning it to him. The sound of rain outside the window was dripping that night, and Lu Yao didn't sleep well. The next day, she deliberately got up early to go to the hospital to visit her mother. Unexpectedly, as soon as she arrived at the hospital, she saw several nurses looking like people pushing her mother out. What are you doing? Let go of my mom. Lu Yao's face changed and he hurriedly rushed over. She protected Lin Wan, whose face was weak, behind her and looked loudly at the nurses. Is this how your hospital treats patients? They drive out sick patients. I want to complain to you. Unexpectedly, those nurses not only didn't panic, but also looked at her with a mocking expression on their faces. Miss Lu, our hospital has officially announced that we will not accept your mother's treatment. Aren't you unaware of this? Upon hearing this, Lu Yao was instantly stunned as if he had been hit hard. She frowned and said, What nonsense are you talking about? I have paid the medical expenses on time. Why do you refuse our hospitalization? It's up to you to ask yourself. The famous young and beautiful nurse shrugged her shoulders and sarcastically sneered. I know Miss Lu has the ability. After divorce from President Cheng, we can find someone to accept the order immediately. But after all, President Cheng has the final say in City A, and we have to follow the order. As soon as he said this, Lu Yao widened his eyes even more incredulously. Is this Qing Jian's order? Does he hate himself so much that he doesn't even want to leave his mother a way to survive? Silently, Lu Yao's heart seemed to be grabbed by a pair of big hands and began to ache again. I dare not talk nonsense about this, but our hospital cannot cure your mother's illness. Miss Lu is so capable, so she must have her own way, so we don't need to take action, right? Looking at the mocking faces of these people, Lu Yao gritted his lips unwillingly. 
she also experienced the same thing two years ago when her family went bankrupt. But this time she seemed even more disheveled than at that time. Xiao Yao, mom has nothing to do. Why don't you let me follow you back? Behind her, Lin Wan seemed to understand everything and forced her weak face to smile at her. This illness can't be cured, so why don't you let me go back and spend more time with you? Mom, don't say such things. Lu Yao held back his tears and turned his head to temporarily comfort his mother. As she cleared up her mind, she looked coldly at the nurses watching the commotion and said, even if your hospital really wants to drive us away, let's pack our things. Now you can go out. She straightened her back and refused to give in. Seeing this, those nurses also had no reason and could only temporarily leave. Before leaving, someone muttered in a low voice. It's the first time I've seen such a shameless woman who is so straightforward about infidelity within marriage. Lu Yao heard these words in his ear, and his heart couldn't help but burn with anger. She thought that after being prepared, she could be completely indifferent to these humiliations and discussions, but with Qing Jian's once again excessive behavior, Lu Yao realized that she was also a layman and could not remain indifferent. Mom, please tidy up first and I'll go out and make a phone call. Arriving outside the ward, Lu Yao suppressed his anger and called Qing Jian. Once or twice, the phone was directly hung up by someone. Lu Yao swallowed his anger and fought for the first time, only then did Qing Jian's mocking voice come from the other end. Didn't you say you wouldn't bother me anymore? Upon hearing his casual tone, Lu Yao instantly clenched his fist. She lowered her voice and spoke. What do you really want? I will do everything you say. Now that we are clear, what else do you want to be dissatisfied with? Do you insist on killing me to the death? When Qing Jian saw her call, he had already guessed what happened to Lu Yao. He is very satisfied. In Qing Jian's eyes, after the divorce, Lu Yao should be like now, shamelessly pestering himself and constantly making phone calls. Thinking that she would soon bow down to herself, Qing Jian answered her question with a good mood. I invested in that hospital, so I naturally have the right to decide who will go and who will stay. End of this chapter